Hi, everybody. I uh, I just got off the. I always want to say phone, and I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm making. I'm settling, and I'm making myself comfortable. Um, and I've started making a, an effort <laughs> with my hair and makeup a little. So you're gonna see as the days pass, the weeks pass, uh, slowly but surely, I'll look like a human being. Um, that's not, that's not fair. That's not fair to myself. I was a joke. That was a self-deprecating joke. I already look like a human being. You may have noticed. Um, so we were just talking, I mean, obviously the conversations with Robin go everywhere. They're fantastic and I need some water. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Um, so. Yeah, so obviously the conversations with Robin are always meaningful and insightful and educational and helpful. Um, so I highly recommend, highly recommend going and looking at the, at the Untethered Talks that we do um, and going to her Phoenix Women's, Phoenix Rising Healings Facebook page. Um, just because like seriously, she has helped me so much and this is just not work that you can do alone. Okay, so um, we were talking about a lot of different things and the last thing I should have kind of looked that up before uh, I turned this on so that I could know what it was that I wanted to say. We're talking about coming out of a chrysalis and cosmic, rainbow cosmic dust. <laughs> coming out of a chrysalis. <clears throat> um, it had something to do with that. I don't know, but I, just, I also wanna say, um, you know, she's been doing this healing work and this, this personal development work for nigh on 25 years and you know, she's still coming out of chrysalises. So I, it's another thing we're talking about is how it's like a, it's a, full lifelong every moment day every day process that you gotta commit to um what was it that she said anyway um so one of the things that i wanted to talk about which i thought about last night i was like oh that's clearly something i'll remember but right now i'm not remembering it see i gotta write these things down gotta write these things down um Well, I guess um, we can discuss energy a little bit because that's that's becoming a thing in my life <laughs> and I wanted, you know, for other people kind of discuss it. Um, I'm becoming more and more aware of, of the energies that make up our existence. Um, and I know it, to me, even it seemed kind of frou-frou. <laughs> To talk about like okay all the energies um but it's it's just true and i would encourage you guys to become more in touch with the energies that influence your life um one of the things robin and i were talking about was that sometimes the, your feelings aren't yours um there are feelings you have that are that, like come from inside of you and are things that are up for healing and there are, there are energies that attach to you that like, and they're the energies like, oh, I feel like I'm in a total funk and I don't know why. It's because everything is energy. <laughs> everything is energy and it's a scientific fact. It's a scientific fact. <laughs> it's all energy. So um, that being the case, we, you know, emerge from a undifferentiated quantum field, which means everything is is everything is connected um and so people's energies people's emotions um at large or even someone passing by their energy can you can feel it especially if you're empathic um or particularly we're all empathic but particularly i like that particularly uh empathic um 
you can get stuck with these energies that you don't know what to do with because they're not yours. <laughs> um, and I just, I, I, I'd like people, I think it's a good thing for people to be aware of. Um, one of the things I'm finding that's very useful, um, I sort of discovered or rediscovered uh, the frequency stuff that like, so listen to like, oh, it's like spa music, right? But it's, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, like it, says, it, it has a frequency to it and it really does affect your energy, especially if you're paying attention to it. You're like, oh yeah, that's affecting me. Um, it lifts energy or it blows energy away, you know? Um, and that, that's real. I, I like it. It feels good. It feels good. So I would also encourage you guys to go and look up this stuff, this frequency, <laughs> frequency music. I don't really know uh, frequencies, healing frequencies. I don't know what, but just go look them up. Like I, I have iTunes, so I, I thankfully can just get whatever I want. Oh my God, my head, guys, my head. Um, and these have helped me. There's also a couple that Robin have, have given me, has given me that, I honestly the best ones that I have and I'm gonna see about posting them because I think that would be good for you guys to have um, untethered Fridays guys um, yeah there's, there's there's so many things that can affect you affect your energy little bit of a anxiety give me one second okay. yeah that's I can release that just not right now <laughs> uh, probably anyway um, so Sorry, that totally, totally took me off uh, what I was saying. The things that w will help you with energy, this frequency stuff. Um, it's essential oils. I mean, I know people will be like, oh, no, essential oils, they're nothing. Ah, ha, ha. You know, like, and it's like, well, just go fucking look at the science. <laughs> like, if you, have, you think they're frou-frou, go look at the damn science. You know, these chemicals in the plants are all biological like we are and every medicine pretty much that I, I've ever heard of or that I, as far as I know, every medicine is based on some compound found in nature that fits in with our body in a certain way. Boop. Um, and personally, I know for a fact that I have had a couple of chronic female problems. The females know what I mean. Um, that have been solved because I take clary sage and rosemary every day. I haven't, I have, I've been a little bit lazy. Let's be honest. I've been a little bit lazy and the problems come back. If I don't do it, the problems come back. That's how I discovered it worked. It's like I, I ran out and all of a sudden the problems were back. I never expected it to work. I never expected it to work. I was like, okay, I'll, you know, whatever. I'll give it a go. So it's not like I was, it's not like it's a placebo thing because I really didn't expect it to work. <laughs> and it was like almost in instantaneously that it helped me. And um, I got rid of some pain that was like there for like at least, I mean, it had been there for a long time. Let's just say that there, it's, it, there's been issues with that for a long time. And the pain I've been trying to get rid of going from doctor to doctor, all the stuff, um, but then I took Clary Sage and the problem, and I mean, I still have the underlying condition, I'm sure, but it's gotta be better because I don't feel the pain of it. <laughs> um, so, you know, and then the same thing is when you in inhale these compounds, they actually, I mean, the, the reason something smells, right, is because particles of it are in the air. So you inhale those particles and you smell whatever it is you smell. 
And those particles, your nose is very, the inside, it's like a mucous membrane, right? It's like, takes it in. And that's why people, I think, snort cocaine. I don't know. It gets in there. <laughs> um, and it, it changes chemically what's going on. This stuff is science. Like it honestly is the only, it's so bizarre, but it's honestly the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> it's like we're all energy, obviously, damn it. Uh, molecules are molecules and they help. Anyway, um, so that's my, I think that's what I'm gonna give you today. Just thoughts about energy and the reality like the nature of reality. <laughs> Get a little thought for pondering. Um, and I will also be back on this, I'm sure, soon. What time is it? I feel like I'm probably missing something that I'm supposed to be at. So I'm going to say to you, because I'm grateful for everything, right? La, 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 la. You can always... Yes, is it? Sure, I'm missing something. I should probably. Oh, doy. <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this right now. At Twelve o'clock on Fridays is untethered. Is untethered Fridays, so it's good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, that's something I'm. Gonna, I'll I'll challenge you guys to go check out. So. Love you. Go take it all in. Realize that we're all, everything is energy. Everything is energy. <laughs> and um, just ponder. I mean, I'm okay, I'm not, I am not telling you what to do here, but if you would like to, it's very interesting and enlightening when you ponder the idea that everything is energy. Um, so, I am grateful for these thoughts. I mean, do apes, like other apes think like this? I mean, maybe, we, maybe. We don't know if they question the basis of reality. My guess is not. <laughs> but who knows, right? I mean, who knows? We're not in their brains. Um, so I'm grateful for the brain and the mind that can actually think these thoughts, despite the fact that like these energies in my head are driving me nuts. Um, and I am grateful for you guys and I'm grateful for the technology that allows me to talk to you and I'm great. Well, look at that, huh? <laughs> wow. That was an energy that seriously, that did you see my eyebrow that just done? That was like an energy doing a thing up here. I didn't do it. That's actually happening <laughs> like in real time guys in real time. Um, so these are my thoughts for you. Take them, leave them, laugh at them, cry at them, breathe them in, breathe them out, and all that fun shit. Um, so I am going to remind you guys, as always, that you can always choose to have a grateful day. Uh, 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 come on. Ugh, finish.